Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye. I am back at the Winding Rivulet, and we are going to be checking out over the next few episodes a couple of new places that we haven't really tried before. Seems like these places got overlooked, and I'm not sure how that is, but since it's cool this morning, I think I'm going to come over here and check out one of the first places. But I'm going to go ahead and point out one of the places right off the bat here if you come down here right here you see this these uh, reeds and if you look out there you can see the little edge of that island that's in the center well if you look on the map this channel goes right by that island and Delacba had pointed this place out and I think we ought to dub this Chub Channel because there are a lot of chub here. I mean, a lot of them, and big ones. Now, the thing is, though, to fish it and fish it efficiently, you really have to go when it's cloudy, rainy, or something like that. Right now, it's not. So, this is not the spot we're going to be looking at today, or at least until the weather changes. The spot we're going to is over here on the point, what I call it but we're going to be fishing in a different location that we've done in the past because we are going after Xander and Dulac also pointed that one out to me as well and boy was he right so let's go over here and take a look now yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this now you got to get real close to the edge here, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and put up my feeder rods just so that I can catch a few things there. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and put some things to catch bream. And the bream are going to be right over here. Right on the edge there. Let me go ahead and get the other one out. I think I'm going to keep that as the garlic dough. And that's a little close to the edge, but that's that's not bad. We'll scooch over and reel that in too. All right, now. Oh, by the way, this is my first low-profile bait casting rod that I've got here, and just got the skill so now I can use it so actually we might try it out a little bit let's see how it does but anyway the thing that's important about fishing here is you try to fish out this direction where the arrow's pointing towards that deep channel and pull it back against the current Xander like to sit down in that little divot or whatever and they like to go for things that are silver and thin and sometimes even pink works very well especially if it's nighttime so let's switch our bait here because our lure because that is not going to work i have one here that works real well for these guys this for xander number two this is a handmade one that someone gave me and it is excellent so we're going to throw this thing out there and see if these Xander are active I put it at about a medium speed well it looks like I'm already getting some activity over here hold on I think it's this one here nope it's this one Ooh. put the tension on a little bit here this guy's got some heft to him come on and they're going after the garlic what do we got here ooh there's a nice bream and it looks like they're going for the garlic so that's what we're going to keep throwing out there for some reason they are always right there I don't know what the deal is with that but Sounds like we've got some, a 
serious frog population over here. Anyway, we're going to sit there and do a single turn jig step. There we go. And we got another bite on the other one too. Whatever this is, it's pretty small. Ah, it's a perch. Alright, we've got somebody who is just not giving up over here. Ooh. Well, I'm getting some hefty little guys here. Sitting there trying to tell you all about the Xander and the Bream are just going nuts. <laughs> Check this out, man. He's got some weight to him, too. Off these wheat seeds. Huh. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. There we go. I can definitely handle that. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe this time. Yeah, that's the only thing though. The perch really like this lure too, so that's always a chance you're going to take. Now they do bite more often. There we go. Whoa, okay. Get a little more tension on there. There we go. I forgot to turn the tension up. Let's see what this guy is. Could be another perch. No, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Nope, it's a chub. A nice one. 1.799. Yeah, we'll keep that. That was not expected, but I will take it any day of the week. There we go. Let's let it drop. Jeez. <laughs> These guys are relentless. That's that garlic one right there. Another bream, maybe? No? Common roach. Alright, set that out and let that do its thing. There we go. Now we got something that's got some weight to it. Yeah, it's still a perch though, guys, but it's a bigger one. I'll be darned. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. I'm coming, I'm coming. This is a fairly big one here, guys. Come on. Sheesh. Should have did this on Bream, because it seems like that seems to be <laughs> what it's at. What's going on today here? Alright, I'm going to bring out my... Well, never mind. Never mind, it looks like it is bream today. Yeah, they're all roughly about the same size, too. Must be like a whole school of them there.
Anyway, what I was trying to say is I was going to switch over to my Model 1. can't remember what lure I happen to have on it at the moment. Oh, this is a good lure. This is a good lure for chubs and perch, which we already are getting. But I'm thinking of using this... Either this White Dragonfly Stream or... I might try the Karuna here real quick, just to see. Just give it a try. Nope, that didn't work. Sometimes it doesn't switch over. There it goes. Uh, that was kind of a lousy cast. I have to pick up that other one anyway. Here we go again. Breen? Yep. 1.39 kilograms. For those of you of that are American, that's close to th three pounds. So that's a pretty good sized fish. Two point two pounds for every kilogram. So you do the math. There we go. Now this farewell could be a large perch too, so might be throwing it out a little too far. Nope, there you go guys. That's what they were after this time. Now this is a small Xander. But that's our Xander, our first one anyway. I gotta get this a little more towards the middle though. There we go, that's better. Now, it may have gone a little too far, so if I get a perch, it's entirely possible. But this lure, let me show you here real quick guys, the Karuna Hunter 1-001 at 26 grams. It works very well in this kind of weather. For some reason, they do like it. But you got to make sure it gets in the deep parts. Oh my gosh. Whatever that is, it's big. Jeez. Okay, okay, let's... Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Come here, little guy. Or not so little guy. Well, he was making a run. He is making a run for it. Ah, oh, shoot. Don't you dare. I can't walk. I can't walk the shore here. Can I walk the shore here? All I can do is try to keep you... You're taking too much more. Are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't want this guy to get away. That's why I'm trying to keep the tension up. But he is pulling out the line as fast as he can take it. It's about the best I can do at this point. A little more tension. 
a little bit more I'm pushing it I'm pushing it but he's he's weakening he's weakening there we go come on come on don't you even think about it Yeah, I think I'm going to switch the line out on this because I only have a short, maybe a hundred meters on this particular rod. And of course that's the one that catches the fish. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Get this guy in here. the heck have I got here? Wow! Now that is a nice eyed. That's a really nice eyed. 3200 XP. 2 kilograms. Got him off of those sweet things. <laughs> Well, he was definitely worth bringing in. I will say that. I don't know if we lost that other fish or not, but I'll check it. Nope, he's still there. He's already worn out. Yep, 1,700. A 1 1.7 kilogram bream. I'd love to get a trophy. At this rate, I might. Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I can't believe we came here to get Xander and we got everything but. We got one Xander. Yeah, the last time I was here, I caught like five or six of them in a row. So I think a lot of it just depends on the day and the weather because it was partly cloudy that day not s sunny like it is right now <coughs> and I wasn't catching the brain like this that's for darn sure check this out cannot get over these fish over here tonight today it's amazing another big bream Okay, it's right in the channel right now. You guys won't give me a break, will you? <laughs> okay. up the tension on him a little bit. He's just a little bit bigger than some of the other ones were. One good thing is the brain do not fight seriously hard. An eye this same size really put up a fight. Yeah, he's not bad either. Not bad at all. This is going to bring some serious cash, guys. Anyway, we're going to try this one more time. I'm going to try it from this angle, just to see. I have to cast over those reeds. Right here, 
There we go. Now we got a fish that has some, makes some sense here. Let's put the friction brake up some. Oh yeah. Yep, this is a bigger fish. And since this is a heavier rod, this is definitely a substantial fish. Oh, he'll come in. This is a good size rod. Could very well be a pike too, so don't be surprised. Whoa! Personal record. Maximum total weight of in my fish basket or whatever. A two pound chub. A two kilogram chub, excuse me. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. That's pretty hard to believe, but then with all the ones I've been catching, I'm I guess it isn't so hard to believe. Jeez. I tell you guys, we might as well keep this up. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause here. I'm going to keep trying to fish for the Xander. And if I get something a little bit different, a little unusual, I'll bring you back. But for now, Let's try to see if we can't get that Xander, guys. Hey, guys. I just wanted to show you this guy here. You don't see these too often. Every now and then I get them. The Naces. Anyway, that's they're kind of a bullet-looking little fish, aren't they? <laughs> Every now and then I get one of these guys. Not very often. But I tell you, this thing is still just one fish after another and this one's pretty good size I wasn't recording but I managed to catch a very large silver bream we are still rocking this spot I tell you <laughs> hardly got to do any spin casting because these guys Let's spin these wheat seeds and that garlic dough. There's a silver bream. Very pretty fish. They don't like I said they don't get very big. But every now and then you'll get one, and if you get a champion one or a trophy one, they're worth a lot. And a lot of times the cafe has requests for him. There we go. He's a bit hefty. That's a really nice bream. Check it out, guys. 2.219 kilograms, 4,000 XP. And I think I might get a picture of him. He is very nice bream. Not a trophy, mind you, but still very nice. Looks like we've got Mr. Impatient over here, too. He's been swimming all over the place. There's a silver bream. Yeah, they're a little smaller, smaller and a lot brighter. Yeah, right there though, guys, with those baits. The barley does really well too, but those have been doing so well, I'm just not going to change them at this point. That'd be dumb. 
Alright guys, it looks like we have finally latched onto something using that good old one for Xander. I don't know what we have here, but it looks like the bream has slowed down. Actually haven't gotten a bite for almost a two whole minutes. <laughs> I do want to see what this one is because it could be another Xander. I don't know. I'm in the right area and I'm using the right bait. I think it is. Yes. Uh, so far though, they're all kind of puny. But yeah, early, early morning is a good time for these guys when the water is still cold. got to get there early and I've got somebody going nuts here I thought he could wait but he is not going to wait he was going to give a fight but he didn't quite get it Wow, that's a nice bream. Whoa. 2.816 kilograms. That's almost 9 pounds, guys. Actually, no. That's, yeah. Yeah, no, it's 6 pounds. Six pounds. I'm sorry. That's a big fish. That's a big old fish. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a picture of him, too. <laughs> Yeah, this has turned out to be an interesting trip, I tell you guys. But this is going to have to be ending here in a minute. I'm going to keep at it until the... See if I can get one Zan more Xander after I eat something. I may or may not this time, but this is the prime time for him. Between about 4 a.m. and 9 a.m. You can catch them other times, but that's the, the best window to get them, especially right here. Jeez. But we may have to do that another time, because look at this thing. Okay, whatever this is, it's big. Give it up. It could be a catfish. It's kind of sitting down there like a lead weight. That is pretty much catfish-ish. Come on. Yeah, he's giving up the ghost, but... I am curious to see what this guy is. I think he could be a, a catfish. I don't know. Could be a big bream. That's the biggest bream I think I've ever caught. Honest to God. That is a big bream. Nice. 3.138 kilograms. Very nice. And we got something on here too. I think we're going to have to call this a fishing trip because this... Ah! Got a nice little river mussel. <laughs> well, we did manage to get a couple of Xander. i tell you what, guys. I'm going to leave these here because I think I'm going to go ahead and continue fishing because it's just doing too good. But I am going to go see how much 
money this is going to accumulate to, guys, because I have a feeling this is going to be pretty darn good. Now, this is going to be interesting, because there is quite a few here. Let's go ahead and sell these guys. We are 81 silver. 81 silver. There you go, guys. There's another way to get some quick cash. Over there at the point on sunny days. Uh, guys, I don't know if you hear it, but I hear it. Just real quick here. Yep, I did. I knew that was... I could hear it. Even from that distance. Even from that distance. Come here, fish. Man, that was definitely a good fishing trip, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. Now, hopefully, the next time we come out here, we'll get more of the Xander. But I think what I'll do next time is just kind of focus on the spinning. <laughs> but... The bream was a dream, guys. The bream was a dream. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And please hit that like button, and please hit that subscribe button. I'll talk at you later. Bye-bye.